Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. Honestly, some of you guys, there's, and, and before we had that death card that came out, you have a, a, a toxic cycle or connection in your life that is truly over. You may, I, I do feel with these two fives here though, you may still be a little bit confused about something, the five of cups. Something is over. It has been left out in the cold. Someone could have left you out in the cold, but you're about to receive here the queen of pentacles. Um... You're about to receive double for your trouble. There's two fives here. And then here is a four of wands. There's definitely something changing in your life when it comes to your overall stability, your security, your happiness. If you are wanting to be in a relationship or have some type of union. Dang. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Four of wands, empress, the ten of pentacles. The heartbreak is behind you. All right. So, again, for some of you... Yeah, this is like your divine spiritual inheritance that you're receiving. Some of you, this has something to do with your own spiritual gifts, talents, and or abilities. This also could have something to do with someone that you are connecting with. There is something very dark, though, and toxic that is being eliminated from your life. And I don't know why I feel the need to, like, separate these because this is that twin energy that I'm talking about right now. There is something in your life that is dark. It is um, you, it's something you may regret. You could be disappointed about it. And it has had you in a bit of a chokehold. It has had you in lack. Okay. It, it could be a mindset. It could be a person. It could be a job. But that that is over and done with. Okay. What you're going into now is the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. You're receiving something huge that's going to set you up for life. Wow. I'm, I am picking up for some of you. This does have, yeah, the tower. There you have it. It's divine intervention here. And then here's the Ten of Cups. Something is about to bring you so much happiness. The Ten of Cups is here. So this has something to do with like your home life, your happiness, your 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 foundation is all I'm hearing. Like It's something very, very beautiful that's coming for you. Ooh. The Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, this is a turning point here. Yeah, I told you. It's something about your your, your spirituality. Your, your awakening. You're tapping into some type of ancient wisdom, knowledge. You're getting clarity about who you are. All right, Three of Pentacles here. It's like the divine is really working with you to try and help you, to show you the way. Yeah, you get this Midas Touch kind of energy with the Ace of Wands being here. You're tapping into your own magic is what I feel. Um, and I, maybe that's the reason why I felt the need really to post that reading. You guys, that reading, it really did blow me away. For some, it may be very scattered. Um, <laughs> but it was like a real live channeling that I was going through. But I do feel that people who are resonating with this, you're tapping into your own magic. Your, your frequency is going from, you can see the, the evolution here. The Queen of Pentacles, the Empress High Priestess. This is like the evolution of who you are as, as a being, okay? Um, and it's what is leading you to now is the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Spirit keeps telling me, like, rearrange these cards. Yeah, it's it's the evolution. Oh, okay. I just It's the evolution of your soul. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> And this comes suddenly with the tower and the wheel of fortune. It comes suddenly. So something here that has been dark and toxic that has kind of had you bound. Um, you're you're switch. You're you're moving from a timeline, a realm, or a dimension, and you're moving into a higher frequency. This is all about the evolution of your soul. That's what I keep, I'm hearing. The evolution of your soul. Wow. Look at that. Six of swords, and then here you have. The lovers and everything is fine. This spiritual awakening for some of you is possibly been like driving you mad almost because um, I've been talking about ascension flu and all of that for the last few weeks. Definitely that um, some of you, you're, you're going through your own personal evolution of your soul where you're upgrading, but you also have been integrating with some type of like twin flame energy so you could be experiencing like a kundalini awakening as well so you may be feeling sick your your sleeping pattern could be off you could be tired grumpy 
emotions all over the place you know you you could be going through like what feels like for sure a dark night of the soul what this is though is again it's an evolution of the soul here you now are choosing a path the lover's card to me is not just about another person this is your spiritual contract this is you going back to the very beginning and remembering why you're here and what you're meant to do this is breaking away from all conditioning okay the condition because your conditioning has disappointed you you know the the idea that you should have a certain type of partner a certain type of job you should live work do certain things you're breaking out of that and it's like the divine is forcing you to break out of it so that you can go to this this new place of peace happiness contentment joy satisfaction of being in your truth this for some of you it does have something to do with a lover perhaps but of course in order for you to be in a divine partnership you first have to be in your um full like your divine essence has to be there as well who you are you have to be very clear about that because as i've been saying if you've been following my channel many of you of course your partner has a lot to do with your soul contract your journey is not about you going into union with this person but many of you you from the very beginning you you agreed to come here to do something and it does include a certain person so it could be you know you and someone being married and you creating wealth or you raising children together you breaking generational curses or whatever it is you're meant to do something with someone whether it's a person that you're supposed to be with romantically business-wise platonically or whatever But it's saying everything is fine. You're moving on to peaceful, calmer waters for sure. The two of wands here. So yeah, you have to make a decision to move away from something here. And you're going towards your own soul family, your soul tribe here. There's so much abundance that's coming in. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands here. You're going towards everything. This is movement, okay? The, your time of being the wounded warrior is over. Like all blockages are removed. I love this energy. I love it. Ooh. I mean, it's so powerful. Like, all of your blockages are being removed. Like, there's nothing standing in your way. And it's all because, like, I don't know, your mindset has completely shifted or changed. You've been freed from something. Something of significance is happening around this, this full moon. I'm, I'm assuming you guys are cutting, you're cleansing, you're clearing. Something is over, but also, too, it's just the, the frequency of of this planet at this point is changing so the lower vibrational energies they can't really survive anymore that's the reason why now we're able to channel these god-like energies you're you're channeling the god or goddess within you as well okay yeah the ten of swords came out with the world so the heartache the pain the suffering the deception the betrayal that's over you've completed this cycle and you've accomplished something and what you're gaining now is something incredible yeah the page of wands now you have the ace of swords so you have three aces out here okay and i've been talking about the power of three i don't know what that's all about but a lot of things death and life many things come in threes you have the three these threes here the ace of pentacles ace of cups ace of swords and the three of cups here so you have your hand here on this new one. You're definitely moving in a different direction. And it's taking you towards like a life of peace, happiness, and contentment that it goes beyond, any, you know, anything that you've seen or even dreamed or imagined before. But you do have to most likely turn your back to something. This is you answering the call of your own destiny. Choosing to allow your soul to evolve. And like I said, for some of you, it probably has been a little bit scary because you don't really know where you're going but you're you're coming out of this mental entrapment eight of wands yeah you've been down for a while i feel a little bit stuck stagnant maybe going through a lot of healing trying to put pieces of a puzzle together it's like it's all gas no brakes if you were wondering like is are things going to get better absolutely and it's going to be far greater than anything you've experienced before. You have the King of Swords here and the Knight of Swords. So I feel like this King of Swords, honestly, I'm not really picking up another person's energy. This is more so your energy. But you being in this energy is about to bring in, like, 
it's this powerhouse kind of energy. It's about to bring in other like-minded people. Like I said, your soul family, your soul tribe. But this King of Swords, Knight of Swords being here, this is you really taking action, like moving away from any type of third-party interference, choosing now to be um, selfish instead of so selfless when it comes to different people in your energy that you've been giving to. You're moving out of that energy now, and it's almost like a light bulb, like, like you just flipped the switch and you became this person. Or you're becoming this person because you're not a queen or king of pentacles. You're a high, uh, a high priestess or a hierophant now. Yeah, here's the emperor. Okay, so emperor will be, the, of course, the counterpart to the high, um, the empress. But for some, the divine masculine within you is what is awakening. But you also could have a divine masculine that you've been separated from. Or that, you know, when I say separated, you may not have met this person yet. Or it's been a long time since you and this person have been in any type of union. They are awakening. Okay. And interestingly enough, in, the, in this particular deck, um, I'm being led to say this right now. Because I know that the energies have been... A little chaotic lately please keep in mind that a divine masculine can be a woman i feel like a lot of people miss that that's why i always say he can be a she she could be a he a divine masculine can absolutely be a woman okay male or female i feel like there's a divine masculine here who is about to have reason to celebrate finally getting through some type of cycle here. There's a breakthrough that is happening with a divine masculine for sure. Um, someone here who has not wanted to let go or who has been holding on is finally seeing something from a different perspective. There's a hidden path that's being revealed now. The moon is out here. Yeah. Someone here has been doing a lot of manifesting, I feel. And there's a hidden path. So if you've been manifesting like your ideal partner... That person is coming in, whether you know them or someone from your past, that's your business. But yeah, there's been a total like shift in, in perspective. I'm hearing the shift in consciousness. Someone has reached a level of self-awareness now. Like I'm hearing somebody say, I got it. I got it. I got it. Like somebody got it. I feel like for some of you, if this has something to do with another person, you choosing to leave a person or a way of thinking behind and and focusing on resting rejuvenating and healing is now giving you this um i hear the gumption okay i heard the gumption now for you to move forward some of you could be choosing to relocate or do, it's like a i do feel something drastic that's happening here because now the ace of pentacles is here with the king of swords you're being granted access to um this stability and security but it requires that you be in the energy of the king of swords meaning you have to be analytical you have to be practical you have to be fair you have to be just so that means that you have to leave out anything of course that is toxic so it's like you're leaving everything behind or someone is leaving everything behind. I really feel for those of you, if it is some type of twin flame soulmate connection, you and the person, you're both mirroring one another. So whatever they're doing, you're probably doing the same thing, whether you know this person or not. Because the hangman is here with the ace of swords. So yeah, there is a major breakthrough that's happening here where someone is like, I see everything clearly. I see exactly why you know everything happened the way that it happened the queen of Pent pentacles empress high priestess you're seeing now you're getting the all of the dots are connecting and it's leading you into abundance that will pour into all areas of your life some of you definitely have like some type of wealth that's coming in whether it's you creating something for yourself you marrying into a family where there's a lot of wealth Okay, you hitting the jackpot, lottery, something here is just going to be like, oof. I mean, I'm hearing overnight success. Interestingly enough, I don't have the star card out here yet. But whatever this is, it's for sure destined and it's wish fulfillment for you. There's a major transformation here. I think that you're breaking away from something or someone that has for sure been holding on to you with the four of pentacles. Also, if you've been holding out or holding, waiting to start something, it's because actually you thought that you were controlling this situation by holding out 
actually God was forcing you to hold out on a situation or not pursue something until something in your life had completely ended and you went through some type of transformation. So now it's like, now that you have the missing piece here, you have this pentacle with this magician card, you have the tools and the resources, but for a long time, you were still missing something. And what you were missing was, of course, this, this level of self-awareness, you didn't know who you were. I did a reading a few weeks ago where I said you need to learn the blueprint of your life because you're going to have these goons and goblins and different things to approach you. If you know the blueprint of your own life, if you know where you came from, then you're going to know exactly where you're supposed to be going. And when certain things approach you, it's just like playing a video game. Once you lose the same game so many times, you should know, you know, when that... that goon or goblin is gonna jump out you should know when to shoot or what to do some of you now it's finally there's a piece of something that has been missing here or for some of you there's some type of hex jinx or curse that's been over your life and you're finally clear it's it's gone and therefore now you can take your cup wherever you would like and you can choose to offer your cup to something or someone or you can receive whatever is being offered to you Yeah, here it is. Here's the cups. All of the cups here. Like I said, whatever this is for you, it's, it has something to do with you being at peace emotionally. Whether you're receiving a cup, the, the, the Knight of Cups is here, the Page of Cups, okay? And again, it kind of looks again like that evolution. You have a page, a knight, and then a queen. That mirroring that's happening emotionally you're learning this is emotional intelligence as well yeah and it's bringing justice you're learning how to turn certain things down you're learning also how to just be over situations and that being in this state of emotional balance and having this type of control like i said being the king of swords is what's now opening these new doors for you The Four of Cups was here, and then I see the, the Queen of Wands, like I said, for sure. If there's been any type of tricky energy around you, you're free from that. And I feel like you're free from whatever this is because you have learned how to master your own mind. That mind control, especially when you have people in the dark, you know, who could possibly be dark magicians and they're playing with your mind. When you master your emotions, that doesn't work. And a lot of you now, you've mastered that. And so your ships are coming in, three of wands. Yeah. Your ships are coming in. After you carrying a lot of heartbreak and pain, you fought a really good fight. And now you get to go towards the ten of cups. This is definitely you breaking some type of curse. Like I said, I'm hearing hex or jinx or curse over your life. And it's been a long time coming. So I really like that energy. Let's see. Um... What else comes out? I may do a love reading as well. I may do an actual like twin flame soulmate reading. I don't know. Spirit is kind of telling me to put it in this reading. <laughs> and let me just say this, you guys. Right now, those of you who definitely have a connection with your spiritual team, your ancestors, your guys, past on loved one. Now I'm telling you, don't be disobedient, please. <laughs> Do not be this this time like right everything seems very critical right now. Don't be disobedient. When they tell you to do something, do it. Like that reading, I was like, I'm not putting that reading out. They was like, do it. I was like, okay, my bad. <laughs> so friendships came out. Okay. So you're definitely, like I said, connecting with your soul family, your soul tribe. So you may be letting go of the toxic relationships in your life. And that's a good thing because as those chapters close, um, it makes room for you to have new beginnings. So for some of you, like I said, you've been left out in the cold, um, deceived and betrayed by certain people. And that's about to change. If you've been in a period for a long time of isolation, feeling very paranoid or like you couldn't trust people and things like that, that's going to change. You could have a very significant friendship or partnership that's going to enter your life, whether this is someone new or you reconnecting with someone. Yeah, sadness. I feel like... Um, and teamwork some of you are definitely disappointed by some type of connection whether it was with a friend a family member or a lover but you don't need to let that get you down because that situation it needed to end you have a partnership coming in now and it's going to lead to you being able to complete certain goals 
your network is expanding. You have dependable people that are coming into your life. You're dropping the dead weight. I really like that. Once again, like um, twins, you notice here it's like two guys on this card and two girls here. Some of you, it's like you're going to find, I feel like you're going to start connecting with people who are very, very similar to you. Some of you, you've been betrayed by someone that you consider to be your twin. I mean, it could have been your twin. For some of you, um, you may come to realize that the person you thought was your twin was actually just a karmic soulmate. Um, Self-image here. Some of your relationships have led to you having some doubts, fears, and insecurities about yourself. The people that are coming into your life or the, the projects that you're going to be working on now, that's going to change. I feel like you're going to start to, to be more confident. And that's going to make you a magnet for people and success. Yeah, because the magnetic card is here. It's going to be very hard for people to resist you. I guess opportunities and people, everything are about to start coming to. It's something that has been covering you um, for a long time. Like I said, it could just be a mindset, a lack of um, confidence. It could have been spell work or something, whatever. There's been a veil over you for a while. And I feel like that's what's being removed now. Um, creativity is here. So for some of you, you've had like a, a, a blockage of your third eye and crown chakra that's being removed. So you're gonna start seeing the world and everything so differently. So what I'm getting here very, very strongly. Yeah, and here is the renewal card. Yeah, renewal. Some of you, this is just a huge spiritual awakening. It's the evolution of your soul. Whether you just hadn't awakened because it wasn't time or you were afraid to or because some something or someone around you was purposely trying to manipulate your energy or um cause blockages in your life whatever it is is being removed and so now you're gonna start seeing some of you may be walking past the mirror like man i look really good now um you may want to take better care of yourself but you're just going to become very very magnetic you're going to start getting all the things that you want because People are going to see you the same way that you see yourself. I feel that for some of you, it's like you've always been this very beautiful, divine being. And I'm not talking about like physical appearance. I mean, on a soul level, you're you have a, a beautiful spirit, a beautiful soul. But for some reason, even with teamwork, I'm saying this for some reason, for some of you, people have teamed up. This could have been friends and family and they painted a picture that made you look like you were sad or they did things to always make you sad. You had people around you that always brought you sadness, disappointment, regret. It made you feel depressed. And so what ended up happening is your self image was being altered. You weren't able to attract the things that you wanted. Something is being removed now. So your vibrational match for abundance, for happiness. You're going to be more creative. Your creative blockages are being removed. And this comes from you being able to really take the time out now to express yourself. Maybe you had people around you that um, didn't really want you to express yourself a certain way. And that's that's changing. You know, it definitely could have been people around you who just were not supportive of you being who you are and how you are or whatever you're being renewed again evolution of the soul who you truly are is emerging this is a, a a transformation of yourself um you're leaving all things old behind so some of you like i said like that kundalini awakening type of energy you definitely could just be releasing like going through a major purge right now i really like this energy a lot honestly it's really, really deep. I don't want... I'm t some of the readings that I've done lately, you guys, they're, they're kind of draining to me. Um, and I don't want to be just drained completely out. This is a, a very general message. I mean, I see a lot of specific things, but it's different for everyone. We could be here all day and night if I were to see every specific thing that I, I'm picking up on. But you just need to know you're evolving. <laughs> That's the gist of it. You're evolving. <laughs> 
Um, you know what? I'm gonna get a deck here and just look at love. Let's look at love and see what's going on with that. And um, I just don't. I don't want this reading to be too long because some of my last few messages, they have been close to two hours. Like I've been really, really channeling. I don't know if it's just the full moon being so intense, but oof. I don't want to go on a three month hiatus like I normally do. <laughs> you guys who follow me know I'll get tapped out and just disappear. I'm trying not to do that. So. <laughs> I'm like, let me conserve some of my energy. All right. Okay, so. Spirit, tell me what is happening in love. I just saw the temperance card in Six of Wands. So we are in Sagittarius season. But when that, that angelic type of energy, some of you are awakening to um, you or someone that you know or that you're about to meet. Your, how you view love, I feel, is changing. You're going through this awakening. And it, it's really starting with you seeing why you should love yourself more. But... Um, I just feel like a lot is shifting and changing in love. That's why I really want to see what comes out. Okay, so the King of Pentacles came out and the Two of Cups. And a bunch of cards flipped over. Oh man, half the deck flipped over. I'm not going to take those. Nine of Pentacles, Justice. So your Justice, okay, so, okay. I said I wasn't going to take them, but they all flipped over. So obviously that's what spirit wants us to talk about so here's the star remember earlier i was saying i didn't see the star here's the star coming out now so we have the king of pentacles the two of cups and the star so you have a destined um partnership that's coming whether it's romantic or um or business with the king of pentacles now i'm asking about love so i do feel that for some of you you are about to go into a connection with someone who is a king or queen of pentacles this is someone who comes to the table with whatever you come to the table with or even if they don't um when i say that sometimes you know keep in mind that opposites do attract someone spiritually I, i'm not getting so much as far as um uh, when i say they have what you have it may not be materially, but spiritually with the two of cups, emotionally, energetically, spiritually, they will be very um, compatible with you. And the star is here. It's the type of energy that's going to bring about a lot of healing. It's wish fulfillment. It's happiness. It's joy. You may feel like, okay, this is destined here. So yeah, the three of cups. For some of you, this could be someone from the past, but this is someone that is going to be a part of your same soul family, your same soul tribe. You're in, they could live in your community or not. But the two of cups, three of cups, that's, that's beautiful to me. That's for sure. Um, and it's interesting because in both of these cards, you have the moon here. I feel like something very significant is happening with this. Ooh, the moon and the star. Remember Artemis and Apollo? I was talking about that earlier, the sun and the moon. And so you hear, it's like the stars are here and, and the Gemini, the two twin. I'm telling y'all, I, when I'll be talking in the beginning of the reading, some people get pissed off about it, but it all ties into the reading somehow. <laughs> I was talking about the twins and they became the constellation Gemini. When we have the full moon in Gemini now, and then you see here the stars and then you have these two moons here and these cards it just jumped out at me so i do feel like there is for sure like some twin flame unions that are taking place if it's not union some of you are just about to enter that recognition phase where you are going to recognize who your twin flame is and it's very beautiful when you recognize who your twin flame is not okay so you know if you feel a little bit devastated or upset because or sad because you're realizing someone is not actually your your counterpart or even if they are your twin but you can't be together in this lifetime it's okay you have someone that is going to match your energy that's coming in and this does to me seem like it could definitely be like a twin flame type of connection here oh definitely you and this person both have wings okay what is that the high priestess and the judgment the evolution of the soul you're waking up it's it's these divine beings are awakening but there's two set of wings there. 
and then here is justice yeah there's justice being served here with the judgment sometimes the judgment is you looking over a situation with compassion like i said before so this could be you choosing to give someone a second chance or you just forgiving a situation being compassionate about it and moving on to something new but with the judgment and the justice being here there's a final decision being made here and you're answering the call of your own destiny as the high priestess here the nine of pentacles so there is a lot of stability and security in any type of connection that's coming towards you because you you now have been renewed you're a vibrational match for that at the center of these cards is the high priestess it's something about your spiritual awakening um that has triggered the spiritual awakening of someone else yeah the ten of wands is here and the knight of swords this fell on underneath this king of pentacles so for some of you you have a king of pentacles that's entering your life or re-entering your life this person could have could be coming out of a situation where there's a lot of baggage but they could have been in some type of spiritual battle just like you and with the knight of swords they quickly decided that they need to come out yeah they need to wrap up this cycle here the world they need to end whatever this um jealousy competition is with another person especially they've been in some type of karmic cycle just like you are you know getting out of those situations your person is mirroring you. They're doing the same thing. Yeah, Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Okay. You've been the wound, the wounded warrior and so have they. They're coming out of their energy. And this could be someone new or old. Take it however it resonates for you. But the Ace of Cups. I'm sorry, the Ace of Swords is here with the Two of Cups. So there's a breakthrough happening in a relationship. The moon just came here and it's falling underneath the star. So, yeah, the the moon and the star. With the six of pentacles. It's not the sun and the moon. It's the star and the moon. You guys are healing from something that has been hidden. You and someone both could be doing a lot of like inner child healing. You or your person is also discovering too because when I look at this card, I see these two like wolves here. I feel this strongly that someone is recognizing that they have some type of spiritual gifts and or abilities. And this is leading someone towards you. It's like your soul is kind of calling out to this person or their soul is calling out to you. I keep going back to that reading because I just posted it about the galactic being for some of you this is some type of galactic being either you embody their energy or they do or, or you both do this is something that was always hidden that you're both awakening to now and it's inevitable that like the two of you coming together it's inevitable like you have to it's a part of the contract but it's like two people who have been walking around not knowing exactly who they were I feel like whoever this person is, though, because of this awakening, they know you. Even if they're they're new, when they cross paths with you, they're gonna know you. But the three of the six of pentacles, you're in this person. You're meant to. This is like a um like a fantasy. The seven of of cups. It's like a fantasy or a dream. It, it seems like like a, a dream or fantasy. Like it's too good to be true, but no, it really is true. Many of you, you're these supernatural beings, and that's the who you're gonna connect with. Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. So you may meet somebody while you're just kind of, I'm here like in between worlds, while you're trying to juggle things. Don't be afraid to start a connection. Um, Knight of Wands. With the Knight of Wands being here in the Two of Pentacles, this could be someone who is hot and cold. Okay, you have to keep in mind, if this is a past person, remember the King of Pentacles came out with the Ten of Wands. They could be coming out of something. So the Knight of Wands, they may kind of be hot and cold in the beginning. Your your soul is evolving. You have other things to do. You don't have to put all of your your eggs in one basket with this with this person. If there is some type of inconsistencies here, because what's meant to be is going to be. Now, if this is a person from the past, whether it's a new person or a past person, there could be some type of um, third party interference here with the Two of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. It could definitely be third party a third party situation here. And the five of cups is here. Yeah. So you have the. Yeah. 
something that you felt was gone is coming back. Or if this is a new person, it may start out a little inconsistent, a little rocky. It's not... It's not going to stay that way. So if somebody comes towards you and they're carrying some type of baggage or there's some type of third party here, this the four of wands is here. It's going to be eliminated. Yeah. And look, the four of wands and the queen of pentacles, that, that, that makes perfect sense. And then you have here the unknown card. Something about this situation is unknown, but someone is going to quickly figure out that the two of you, you're supposed to be together. Or if this is someone in your life already, they're seeing now like, oh crap, like, we're supposed to be together, but this person or you or both of you are carrying some type of baggage from another situation. That baggage, like I said, could be financial issues, family issues. It could just be a mindset. But the five of cups is here. The three of cups, those three of cups have tipped over. But the two of cups, which is here, which is destined with the ace of swords is going to have the breakthrough is still here. So this could have been a situation with you dealing with someone from the past. They're having an awakening. They're coming back. Or this is you met somebody. They're the knight of wands. They're kind of in and out. Maybe you guys just had like a casual situation or this was a friend because friendships is out here. Something is going to change. Maybe, maybe you and somebody, you just couldn't go the distance because there's another person here or another situation. There's a wild card to this. You and somebody, this, oh, yeah, temperance, two becoming one. You and this person, you, oh, sh okay. The high priestess and the temperance. I've been talking about this for the last six months. You guys are going beyond queen and king of pentacles, emperor and empress. These are spiritual beings coming together. The high priestess, this is, this is your sage. This is, you know, ancient royalty. People with ancient wisdom and knowledge, the, the sage and the high priest is coming together. And this card is two women, but this, you know, male and female could be same sex, but for, it doesn't matter the sex, but these, these are angelic beings. These are earth angels coming together. Some of you guys though, this isn't necessary. These are really, I don't know. Some people, it feels like real, like real angels. Like I, again, I don't know you guys, what kind of beings these are that I was channeling. Um, but they're very, very big. <laughs> They're very, very <laughs> massive. Their energy is huge too. Okay, the emperor. Judgment and the emperor. So your emperor that will bring you wish fulfillment is, is awakening. Could be someone from the past with the judgment card being here. And you can give this a second chance. Some of you though, when I talk about a person from the past, you guys, when it comes to these soul contracts, I'm not talking about a person who has pretty much destroyed you. Some of you, your counterpart was somebody that you were in the fifth grade with, that you may reconnect with. It could be someone coming back from your past that you don't have a lot of history with. It could be a friend and you never crossed the line with that person. I'm not talking about the toxic, narcissistic, heartbreaking person that you just really don't like that's not who i'm talking about i'm talking about the person that you know you're a vibrational match for and and now a person could have done a lot of things to you and they could absolutely change but for this energy here it's not a heavy energy it's not and then the king of wands is here this is someone here who oh king of wands ace of wands eight of wands okay this is that energy. This person is, um, whoever they are, they will be 100% like extremely passionate about you. There will be obsession here because the devil is here. Okay. And you have the king of wands, ace of wands, the, the eight of wands. Look at all that red and pink. This person here you are in the garden and then you have this person's soul calls out to you it's, it's a um it's an undeniable unbreakable kind of bond yeah and then look the hangman and the lovers you and this person have been separated whether it's someone new or old you and this person have been separated this connection has been blocked it was blocked until you awakened to who you are and understood your mission you have to know, okay, what are you supposed to be doing here with this person?
because this is these are not connections where you're supposed to just be in a conventional relationship and marriage and, and take you know do TikToks together no you and this person have a real purpose and you first have to know your purpose and they had to know their purpose before you could come together it's a very very beautiful energy seven of pentacles yeah you had to put in work time effort and energy to become the nine of pentacles and so did they that's why this person has slowly been coming towards you as the knight of pentacles and there has been a lot of warfare you had to battle a lot some of you the last seven to nine years you've been preparing to become who you are for your soul to evolve but for you to go into this union with someone um from your past or someone new for so there's definitely a separation here separation but the separation is ending the ten of swords you're resting you're re you've retreated from this situation some of you have just been like i'm not worried about love that's ending the ten of swords is saying that the worst is over there's no more heartache pain or betrayal six of pentacles you have equal give and take coming into your life now queen of wands the tower if the Queen of Wands is a third party for some of you, that's not all of you, um, that's going to be eliminated with that tower. Nine of Swords here. If you've been stressed out and worried about, it, are you still going to encounter third party situations? I don't think that that's the case. Also, if you've been stressed out and worried, you need to come out of their energy and, and really work on being the Queen of Wands. You need to focus on being ambitious, assertive, outgoing, cheerful, happy, and manifesting. Yeah. In order to attract this love, you're going to have to embody love of self. There's nothing for you to be worried about anymore. King of Swords. There he is. King of Swords. Why is King of Swords here? I really like this. The Hermit. And then the Unknown card. This King of Swords for some of you. Is this masculine? This masculine is, is a shapeshifter. Um... <laughs> they're gonna bring you a missing piece to a puzzle after both of you the hermit have been soul searching and in deep introspection this person now is coming in with an as a knight of cups page of swords yeah they've watched you work and now i feel like you in this person you're being given the ace of pentacles this person has seen you evolve They've had an eye. If they know you, they've had an eye on you. The magician and the three of wands. Yeah. This is exactly what you manifested. It's a very, very strong connection. The lion here. Um, this person is is majestic. This is someone, like I said, they have a really big energy. Yeah. They they've fought very hard to be in this world with you. Very like storybook fairy tale ish, I'll be honest with you. This person has put up quite the fight to be with you. You're a warrior, but I'll be honest, if you're a divine feminine, like whoever this person is that you are, have manifested is, um, <laughs> they're, they're beyond what you have dreamed of or imagined. This person is a warrior in the spirit. They're like a real spiritual warrior. King of swords, this person, they go, they don't go anywhere without their sword. This person has probably been fighting and battling for you in the spirit. This person is a magician. They have a lot of tools and resources. Whether you know it or not, I'm hearing they may not have even known. It's interesting how some people, before they awaken, they have no idea how strong they are spiritually. If this person if they don't know that they're like this very strong warrior magician they are soon about to find out wow and the empress is here you're their empress six of wands so there will be victory and success this person is going to be extremely um proud to be with you and you will be very proud to be with this person and what i'm getting here is you and this person you will you will birth something with this person that will bring a lot of um pride to you your tribe your soul family your family 
there's something that you and this person will birth together whether it's a baby a business a family or whatever but it goes back to this evolution of the soul and now you connecting with this divine being like yourself that has all of this power and i'm and i'm hearing power and authority you're going this is like your end all be all but you had to go back to find out who you are and by traveling back to figure out who you are that was how you and this person connected it's almost like this person has been waiting on you they've been waiting on you and 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 fighting for you and protecting and all of these cars this feminine energy this this person is very strong and and mighty that you're connecting with this person is not somebody to play games with <laughs> at all no they're not two of swords you probably didn't see this person for a long time. Mm -mm, you didn't. But you're walking away from any stalemate situations. And it's taking you to the King of Cups. This person is a shapeshifter, though. They're like your King of Pentacles, King of Cups, King of Wands, Emperor. They're all of that. They embody, that's why I'm saying, they embody all those energies. The Page of Cups here. King of Cups. This is like mom and dad, dad and and child. It's King of Cups with the page. This is like father and child. Many of you are about to go on a journey. There's two eights here. You're about to go on to a journey, like I said, where you're going to co-create and procreate something with this person. And then the Six of Cups, it comes. Oh, okay. And here's the, the Queen of Cups right behind it. Yeah, okay. So you have the king and the queen of cups with the page of cups right in the middle. I cannot make this up. It's a very emotionally fulfilling connection here. And then the six of cups. This is a past life connection. You were always meant to be with this person. Also, there is a child or business or an opportunity that you and this person, you're meant to birth together. It's a part of the contract. It has to happen. Somebody here has been very disappointed. The four of cups, very bored, discontent, um, and disappointed by this by love or this per this person if you know them. The four of pentacles, but I don't think that you've ever really let this person go, or they've never let you go. Or there's just a spiritual tie between you and this person. It has always been there, whether you know them or not. I have to keep putting that in there. Seven of Swords, there has been a lot of trickery and deception and illusions here. So there's two fours here and there's two sevens here. And here's two eights. Anytime I see that in a reading, it's because you and someone are mirroring each other. This is twin energy. But divine intervention is here to end whatever this deception or the games are so that there could be a brand new beginning with the fool. Yeah. This person, oh, sheesh. This person has defended your honor and they fought and had to stand up for your family or you've had to stand up for yourself. Both of you have had to stand up for yourselves and what you believe in for the sake of this family. Now, I want you to see here this Ten of Cups. You have this man, this woman and this child. And we just had the King and the Queen of Cups. And in between the King and the Queen of Cups is a page, which we know is a child. I have a reading about the Empress um, and being with somebody. I don't know. It's like six months ago. And you giving birth to like a sun god. Um, so for some of you, you're, you're connected with someone who's really, really, really ancient, very powerful spiritually. Don't judge a book by its cover. This person could look like they're in rags, but spiritually they're rich. I don't know who needs to hear that. You could be in rags. They could be in rags. You're spiritually rich. What what the two of you unlock by coming together is nothing but abundance. It's a part of your, co your contract and your birthright. This energy of the two of you both being hurt and harmed in this battle and being separated, it's ending. Your soul has called out to this person and they're coming towards you. 
they made the decision, two of wands, to offer you marriage and commitment and stability. The Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords, you're moving on a peaceful, calm of waters, the Chariot. Next year is the year of the number seven. Chariot moving forward, being very victorious. You don't have to have your guard up here. This turning point in your life is a positive one. You're getting the you're getting the keys to the kingdom. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. But to get it, you have to work with this person. So three of swords, five of pentacles, the heartache, the pain, the betrayal, the third party interferences, being left out in the cold, being broke, homeless, whatever you had to go through, it's ending and it was all for the purpose of you having this beginning here. And for some of you, you giving birth to this very, very gifted, anointed child that you're supposed to have with this person. There is something here that no matter what you do, you cannot get out of it. Um, I think we can leave it there. Let me see. Just a few love cards. And we'll tie this thing on up. This is so beautiful. New love. Listen to your intuition about this new love. Or well, there's a recommitment to love that's happening. Soulmate. Your love, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. So like I said, some of you have a past person coming in. When I say past, it could just be a past person, okay? It may not be the person that first comes to mind. Someone from a past life or a brand new person. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Ooh. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations. And it is safe to trust in this situation. So someone is longing for you or you're longing for this person. Put away the computer. So you need to go out and have more fun. And you may bump into this person or reconnect with this person. But to raise your own vibration to connect. Some of you, you need to connect with friends and family. Through your friends and family and your soul family is how you're going to connect to this person. Friendship. <laughs> this friendship is leading to more. So for some of you, this is a friend. Old friend, old pal, or somebody. It may just start off as friends first. It says here, you already know the answer that you seek. Hmm. Some of you, somebody is coming to mind. Addiction and interference is here. Self-care. Clear your energy and focus on yourself. You are divinely guided. So for some of you, there has been some type of third-party codependent situation that has been blocking you from this person or this person from coming towards you, whether it's someone new or someone from the past. There were some type of karmic debts, um, issues, obstacles, challenges, wounding something that had to be taken care of first you could be you know doing that in your life right now explore you may meet this person while you're out riding or exploring okay i feel like this person um is just going to be very different for you i feel like you're going to want to explore life with this person um this person i'm oh this is so beautiful this person opens your spiritual eyes in this car here both of these people have shades on i feel like no matter what blockages like even with shades on you and this person you can see one another very very clearly this person, uh, one of you may be able to, um, there's a strong telepathic um, connection. This person can see you. You can see them um, while you're just exploring the world, life. You and this person will connect and the way that you will explore life together is, is beautiful. There will be a lot of emotional support. I feel like you and this person both have gone through a lot. When it comes to healing, letting go of toxic situations, both of you could be empaths. You could be selfless beings who are learning how to be more selfish. Now, with that, 
meeting this person because remember we had the king of pentacles that came out early with the ten of wands i'm hearing now you 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 are this person gonna have to teach one another to love teach me how to love yeah that's what i'm hearing teach me how to love show me the way to surrender my heart Girl, I'm so lost. Okay, so yeah, teach me how to love. Show me the way to surrender my heart. Girl, I'm so lost. Teach me how I can get my emotions involved. Teach me. So for some of you, this masculine, honey, the, the way they've been out here battling life, and you too, it's like you both are going to have to be emotionally supportive to one another. That can bring its challenges, but I feel like you and this person, you will have a playful um, vibe about yourselves. It can be a little bit annoying. I feel like the, the, the child, like, it's going to bring that childlike energy out of you, which is good. You and this person, you need to put the computers away, step away from the work, explore, do things you haven't done before. Playtime is essential for relationships. This relationship should have a strong foundation in friendship. And like I said, when it comes to the emotional support at times, it may be a little bit annoying. And the reason why it's going to be annoying for you and this person is because you both are longing for the same thing. You both have been through so much. You both need support. You're going to have to find that equilibrium of how to give and to receive and not hold the past against one another because you both have gone through hell, I feel, strongly. Yeah, accountability. Yeah. You and this person are going to have to be very open and transparent and accountable. I feel like even though there's going to be bumps in the road in this, but you and this person, there there's going to be deeper intimacy by you and this person having challenges. These aren't bad challenges like lying, cheating, scheming, scamming that perhaps many of you are used to. This is someone learning how to love. You're going to have to teach this person how to love you. You both will have to do that. But it's very, very beautiful. This is growing. That's why you should be friends very soon. Oh, very soon. Very soon this person is going to want to court you. Why? Because it's love at first sight. But they could be going through a breakup or you could be going through a breakup. This breakup could be with a romantic person or you could be breaking up from a job, a friend, family member or whatever. But this is a courtship here. So clearly decide what it is that you want so that this kind of connection will come in. But like I said, no matter what, this person, they will see you. It'll be love at first sight. All right. So very beautiful energy, you guys. Like, oh, it's very relaxing today. I hope that this helped everyone. Um, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, keep in mind, a past person, you guys, can be someone from a past like this, brand new. Um, he could be a she, she could be a he. A lot came out in this reading. But make sure you guys are taking time out to really see who you are, um, get in your journal, manifest, pray, be very clear about who you are and what you want. You know, before I leave, let me, let me check out these cards. Yeah. You are worthy home, sweet home. You're worthy of having the home life that you want. You're worthy of having the family that you want, but be careful about what you give your time and attention to. Um, I said before coming out of the nine of swords, energy of being paranoid, scared, and you know, no, you're worthy of good things. So you're going to have to come out of that. I don't know. Spirit just told me to pull these. So. Inner guidance. It is time for you to pay attention and listen to the guidance of your soul. Yeah, your your soul is evolving. So how you see everything is, is shifting and changing. But listen to it. Heart opening. Oh, your heart is opening. Oh, the little babies. <laughs> and then the golden stars. You are the golden stars. And you're soul searching. Beautiful. It's time to go within and uncover your true feelings. Share your gifts. All right. Rise above. Share your gifts. Rise above. Um, this is what's happening as you're soul searching. And this is a part of your divine plan. All right. And your heart is opening. It says someone you know, it may even be you. It is withholding love and creating a very emotionally painful experience for everyone involved. Oh, see, someone is yearning for you. And if you don't know this person, you haven't met them, just tell God, like, I'm ready. 
you know, or God, I always tell God, you know, search me, God, find anything that's dark within me, heal any of, you know, the wounds or the pain that I have, you know, fill those, those empty spaces with your love and your light. That's what allows you to heal so that you are a vibrational match for love. You, you could still be having some blockages or the person that you're meant to connect with is still having some blockages in their heart chakra. So, it's like your crown and third eye are opening, but you're still kind of holding on and keeping that heart chakra blocked because now that you can see so much and you're becoming so aware of things, you're still a little bit afraid to really open up to this true love, but this is a part of your divine plan. Okay, so just know that the golden star, the stars are lining up for the perfect opportunities for you. You've done a lot of soul searching. It's now time for you to go out and share who you are as a person with the people who are worthy of you your soul family your soul tribe you know and you'll gain a lot of clarity on situations when you change your perspective of how you're currently seeing them yeah follow the signs yeah you have a lot of untapped inner power it says you are getting ready to experience great power from within yourself beautiful 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 so this is all about the evolution of your soul. Y'all, you know, I don't know. I just, I've been hanging out with y'all a lot lately. <laughs> and I've been trying to incorporate more decks. Okay, so this makes the readings longer. But every time I ask about the readings, you're like, we love the long readings. I'm trying to make them. When I say I'm going to make them shorter, they become longer. But I've just really been enjoying like the energy. It's it's becoming lighter and very powerful and enlightening. Just beautiful energy. We've been in these dark times for so long. 